So we're about 10 minutes into the trip home, just left the hiring place, and Dad's tried to drive us into a servo, and now you're driving us into the ACU, Australian Catholic University. Yeah, I haven't been in here, have you been in here? <laughs> Pretty tight in our driveway, but that's all right. She fits. And we're away. It's my brother Jesse. It's my dad Dave. We've just picked up the Kia Six Berth, which is a big motorhome that is strapped to a Mercedes engine. We picked it up from the guys at Apollo. They were super helpful. They're a fantastic team down there. This particular model is an X fleet model which is now for sale. So you could actually buy this motorhome if you wanted, if Dad doesn't buy it first. Dad has been in the market for a motorhome for a little while, but never really pulled the trigger. So this is a bit of a test to see if he ends up buying one. It's pretty weird sitting backwards in a, in a moving vehicle. <laughs> Especially on bumpy Queensland Road. Well, there's so much room in here. So six berth means it's six sleep. Say that real fast three six times. Six birth means it sleep six. Six birth means it sleep six. That's pretty good. And he had a speech impediment when he was <laughs> younger too, so that's pretty good. We're heading to a spot not far from where we are on the Sunshine Coast. I'm just going to cross over the river, head to a little spot called Noosa North Shore, park up with a couple of beers by the beach for a few days, and we'll give it a run. This is going to be good for me. I'm not used to being in a motorhome. I've always been a caravan guy, so this is good. I'm enjoying it. So we're going to get some food. The dangerous thing is it's not far from a pub, this campsite. So we don't know how much food we're actually going to buy because we'll probably just end up at the pub. Jesse's a good cook though, which is why we brought him along, but he's not really come up with any good ideas yet. He's stocked up. <laughs> and old Matt reckons he's too cool to not wear his sunnies inside. So oh, I'm too yeah. busy actually pushing the trolley rather than just holding my phone out. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, I've got a tough job. <laughs> Oh, someone's got to do it though, guys. Someone's got to do it. Little hot tip, you've always got to check that your lead's 15 amp, because you can't use a regular household lead because it burns out. You need 15 amps, not 10 amps. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all we have to do. We'll run a little grey water lead, which plugs into here. There's a grey water tank that sits up under there. And then we're good to go. We've got plenty of water. We've got power. Turn the air con on. Water heater on. Lights on. Fridge on. Water pump on. We are good to go, ladies and gents. I think the boys are gone down the beach, so I might grab a beer and go and find them. Not only am I lucky to have this as a job, but I also get to share that experience with my family. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Why is he getting all that creative all of a sudden? You happy with that shot? Pretty good. <laughs> We are going to the pub for a feed. Thoughts. What are your thoughts so far? First thoughts so far, well, it's just a home on wheels, isn't it? So, like, it's not much more to say than that. It doesn't get much better. Oh, it's a Kia, and but it's K-E-A. No, yeah. definitely not a K-I-A. It's, it's Kia. He got the brief. He needs a little bit of work, but we'll get him there. And then we've wandered into the pub, but, uh... Doesn't look very pubby. It's if there's, closed. and we didn't bring any food um, for dinner. Yeah, you know, we could just jump on the ferry and go. To, there's a pub just on the other side of the ferry. What's that? You're oh. joking. So George decided to bring us to oh, a place no. where we're supposed to eat oh, at the pub no. for two nights, and it's only open on Fridays and Saturdays. And we're oh, here on a no. Tuesday and Wednesday. But that's the good thing about having your yeah, home on wheels. You can go wherever you want. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't have to pack up, you oh. just jump in. Should have done some planning. Should have planned. We 
are you doing? I'm not writing some porridge. How are you finding the motorhome life? It's very relaxing. Yep. It's easy. It's amazing to have a house by the beach. I've never been in one before, so I just find all these things convenience is quite amazing. That's just making everyone a bowl of porridge. <laughs> He's making himself a bowl, isn't he? After I made him a coffee. Dude, what are you doing? I don't know if any of you have actually tried this, but when you put your like hands around as goggles, it blocks all the glare. Don't hate it until you've tried it. Like all of a sudden you can see. Oh my God. Why did I bring him here? When we travel together normally, we all go. Like it's like, righto, pack up, we gotta get to the next spot, and then we drive to the next spot. But this, we're trying a new style of camping, which is just actually relax for one single second, boys. <laughs> it's like we gotta figure out how to fill the time until the sun sets again, and it's only just risen. Jesse and I have been for a run this morning. It was really nice. It's only about 45K. Um, <laughs> Beautiful sunrise, just headed down along the beach that way. And now we're going for a swim to rinse off. It's fine, dude. The shark's not gonna be. <laughs> Idiot. The shark's not gonna be in the same spot. He doesn't just park up, set up camp. Maybe that's what he wants you to think. to get eaten by that shark wind. Jesse's just come back from the beach with the biggest shell I've ever seen. Far out dude. I was just walking along the beach and I thought, I thought, is that a footy? Unreal. Massive. Cool as. Sounds as hollow as your head, bruh. You were saying something earlier about, you reckon it drives really well. So this van's done, what, 190 odd thousand kilometers? And you can buy this now. What were you saying about the driveline? It just felt like solid. It felt, I don't know, probably like it was new. There's no rally, it wasn't loose. The shifter felt nice and mm. there's no clanking or banging. It's just, just all feels smooth. Yeah, everything just feels like it's been looked after properly, doesn't it? I think that's the bonus if you were to buy something from X Fleet. Could you know it's been serviced properly, hey? It's hard to go past it, because then you pull up where you are and you don't even need to get out. You just walk from that seat and just come into your lounge room. It's going to be <laughs> hard good. to go back to a tent after this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey? yeah. Very hard. We might have to work out some sort of deal for you. Mm. <laughs> Here we are, sitting back in the motorhome. It's very comfortable. Really? Watching a movie. Looking yeah. out, the beach is just over there. Looking what out at Morning everyone. We're packing up. Last night we watched a movie. Well, some of us watched a movie, some of us fell asleep. I'm the only one that made it to the end of the movie. Well, there was two movies. Yeah, oh yeah, we watched two movies. So we're just packing up now. Everyone's working as a great team. One of us is filming and one of us is a, two of us are <laughs> no, actually we're, packing up. No, we're all working as a great team, so we all play our roles. <laughs> play to our strengths. Yeah. We're gonna get head home. And then uh, when we head home, I'll do a little run through for you of the whole van inside and out once we've cleaned it up a bit because there's, there's a bit of sand under my feet. So give it a tidy up and I'll show you through inside and out. Rightio, so we're on the ferry, heading back home. I just thought I'd ask you guys quickly your final thoughts on the van. It's really convenient and easy. Yeah. Like, I mean, you just pull up and you've got everything. Yeah. It's fantastic. When we first picked up the camper van, some things seemed a little bit complicated, understanding how all the switches and different things might work, but once you actually live in it, 
for a few days and realised how everything's actually really common sense. Um, I was super pumped to get to try it out to start with and it has completely lived up to, if not exceeded, expectations. So. Oh, Okay guys, so we're back home. The van is all emptied out. We got Ted and Dad in the front seat here being entertained. But I'm really excited to show you through this. So this is the Kia Six Berth, right? Camping in a camper van is not something I'm used to. And I don't know that much about camper vans. So I've learned a lot in the last few days. Six Berth, meaning sleep six. Hello, yeah, you're all right. You can come inside if you want. All right, so straight away, you step inside up the step here, which is still sandy, I've got to clean. All right, so main living area, really. This table packs up, and then you fold these out, and this becomes a two-person bed. Up here is where Jesse slept, that's another two-person bed. And then in here is the driving area, which is extremely comfortable. Good boy. You wanna go for a drive? Yeah! Yeah! Got your television, sort of your entertainment area. Four burner, so this one runs on 240. That's sort of like your induction. And then your gas cooktop there as well with like a little oven slash griller. Um, plenty of storage that you can see there, like heaps. This is the fridge, sort of like bar fridge size, which was plenty for us. Then you've got your roof hatch there, and then a roof hatch up there. That lets a lot of the hot air out. Plenty of lights too. Plenty of lighting, everything's so open and airy. Uh, and then I'll take you in here. This is the shower area. So that's got a hatch there. That's your toilet. And then that's just about it, folks. So another important feature of this thing is the reverse camera that's connected to a massive screen up on the dashboard there which makes this thing really easy to move around on this side of the van we have gas storage uh, so there's one singular nine kilo gas bottle in here uh, this is your power inlet here you've got the grey water outlet so underneath here is a grey water tank this is the toilet canister uh, then here this is the obviously the rear axle it's sitting on Julie's that obviously helps to carry the weight. When driving this thing, it's extremely stable. This is hot, the hot water unit in here, and this is access to your boot. So this boot goes the whole way through. Actually, I just remembered, we've still got surfboards in there. You could fit multiple surfboards in there. Another thing you'll notice is many, many windows. So there's a massive rear window, and then obviously this window here is great for this sort of lounge sitting area. This window here is for the other sitting area. And this side is the other access into that massive boat space. Huge. Uh, water inlet, you fill up your water tank here. And then this is the awning uh, with also an outdoor light here. I'll quickly show you how to set up the awning. Super easy, but no doubt I'll stuff it up. This is just kept in the cupboard here. It's as simple as. Click off the two latches here. Hook onto that little eyelet and then should be able to just. That's really easy actually. Oh. How good's that? Wow, that's actually really easy, isn't it? And then all of a sudden your living space is extended so much. So yeah, this is cool. It's a good awning. So once again, this is another great example of just another area of Apollo's business obviously this is a kia an x fleet which you can buy or you can rent similar models to this there are so many various ranges of things that apollo does and this is just one of them thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it maybe give motorhoming a go give it a go it's a lot of fun